out there. It's starting to get fall. It's the time of year when... Hi, it's Mary. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make some fall drinks. It's that time of year. starting to get a little bit chilly. And, um... Hang on, I have a phone call. Hey, YouTube. Oh, where's my little guy? There he is. Um, I was kind of close there. Uh, I am going to do a tutorial today on making champarado. Champarada. Champarada? Champarada, I think is how you pronounce it. Champarada. Uh, but it's also a basic recipe for all kinds of fall drinks that you can make. And I will explain that as I make it. Um, it's a different way than you will find because I was looking, I googled it last night and I was reading all the recipes and this one is, I feel, much more low calorie and healthy in my feelings than the ones that um, they have usually that they make. So uh, I will set my camera up and start my, I think, very easy recipe to making champarada. I gotta look it up, make sure I'm saying it right. And uh, also explain about how you can make different kinds of drinks with the same basic recipe. Alright, I will be back. I can get my camera. I get my camera to go really in the right spot. So, uh, and if I stand up, can't see the top of my head, and it's not really a very flattering picture. Uh, so anyway, I get, I use a blender, and this is what I do. I pour, I'm going to stand up because you'll just have to, there's my top of my head. Anyway, you'll just have to watch what I'm doing right now. I pour about depending on how many people I'm making it for right now I'm just gonna make it for me that's probably a little more than I need I put in about a cup and a half I am notorious for not measuring things which can sometimes lead to failure now I'm hoping on abuelita Abuelita is, uh, for those of you that don't know, most of you probably do, Mexican chocolate. It's important to use Mexican chocolate because uh, it just gives it a special flavor that uh, regular chocolate like Hershey's. Where's my thing? Hang on. Hershey's or Nestle's or whatever, they don't have the right flavor. So, um, it comes in a cake like this in little pieces. And what I do is I break it up. Sorry. Sorry about that. It's, it's broken up. Um, then, I don't remember I'm putting this little white thing on the back. I guess it helps it stay shut better. I put in a pretty good sized piece. Unless you, I mean, look, it depends on how chocolatey you want it. You can put a little bit more. I'm going to put, I'm going to make it super chocolatey. More keys. Super pretty. But this is cool because you can kind of reseal it. Don't remember them doing that before. Comment. Let me know. I remember that. Now, um, this is an important part of my champarad. So, yeah. Um, I use cornstarch. And this is the basic thing of uh, when you're making other fall drinks without the chocolate, just the milk. I put like, this is like a tole. This is kind of how they make a tole. A tole is another Mexican drink. It's thick and yummy and creamy and it's basically cornstarch and milk and sugar and flavoring of some kind. So, um... I don't want it too thick. I'm putting like three tablespoons of cornstarch. And I 
I like using a blender because it really mixes the cornstarch up. And you put the cornstarch in after you add the milk so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the blender and not get all used. This is cloves. I just put a tiny, not even that much, a tiny bit. Cloves is really, that's all I'm going to put in. Cloves is really, really powerful. It smells good. So I'll put some on my floor. Uh, and then I'm going to put in about a table, a tablespoon or so of cinnamon. Need some music. And now I'm going to blend it. I'm back. I'm back. I don't like that. I'm back. I blended up the chocolate. Scared the heck out of me. I forgot. I forgot, and it was going bam, 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 bam. I forgot I was in there. For a second it scared me so then you pour this into a saucepan make sure you get all the chocolate because I think there's a little piece of that did not get blended now comes the fun part See if I can get my camera down. Now you start stirring it. You have it. I have it um, on medium high heat, but you've really gotta watch it because you know milk and heat. Uh, it can scald and it can burn on the bottom. So while I'm doing this. I'll be quiet because I'll probably speed it up. The magic is happening. What happened? It's thick and champarado-y. And um, I forgot to... Um, you can add a little bit of vanilla. And taste it when you can. It's kind of hot. Because um, if you're not using the Mexican chocolate and you're making another kind of drink, which you can do with just about any kind of flavoring, which um, I'm going to post the flavor that I'm going to be ordering, but you can get peach, blueberry, Salted caramel. There's so many flavors out there. Maple. Um, there's lots of yummy flavors. And you basically make the same recipe with um, you use the milk, cornstarch, the flavoring. Uh, you put it in the blender and then you add um, sugar to taste. And I use stevia which saves a lot of calories and um, then you put it on the stove and you heat it up the same way and if you want to get fancy you can make some whipped cream which I think um, real whipped cream is the best with uh, made you know yourself and you can put a sprinkle of cinnamon, or if it's not a cinnamony type drink, you can put, say you make a blueberry one, you can put a couple of real blueberries on it. Um, and you can also use the fresh fruit in the blender. Blueberries, strawberries, mix them in the, with the milk and the cornstarch, and then heat it up in the pan. And yummy, 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 this is what you get. Yeah, it's thick, but it's supposed to be... Yum. Yum, yum, yum. See, it comes out. Kind of like pudding. Mm. I have to go down. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. 
not too sweet. I could put a little more sugar or stevia if I wanted to, but I kind of like it not super sweet. The amount of chocolate that you saw that I put in there was just the right amount. So, came out chocolatey, cinnamony, tiny, tiny bit of cloves, but not really. They put star anise. And a lot of the recipes that I saw, but um, I'm not a, fa a, a, a fan of licorice flavor, so I left the star anise out. But try this. It's a really easy way of doing it with the cornstarch, milk. Well, you saw everything I put in. Try it and, and let me know how your chomperado comes out. And, uh, and try it with some other drinks. Hazelnut or... Um, coffee flavored mmm really good it's um just gives it that extra the thickness makes it cozy cozier I don't know how to describe it anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial any comments let me know please like if you liked it and subscribe and share. I really, really appreciate it. Champorado kiss for you. Um, on a side note, on the champorado, if you put it in the refrigerator afterwards, you will have champorado pudding. It's really good. My nose is my nose is running from drinking the the hot champorado. Anyway, uh, I hope you try it and enjoy it. Thanks for watching.